Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear and today we're talking about our top three picks for coffee grinders for 2023. Before we talk about the picks, let's discuss what a coffee grinder is. A coffee grinder takes whole bean coffee and crushes it down to an even particle size. So when you go to brew coffee by adding hot or cold water to it, the water can extract all the flavor compounds from each particle evenly leading to a good tasting cup of coffee. These grinders are focused on brew methods other than espresso. So think pour over, drip coffee, French press, cold brew, things like that. Some of these can technically do a little bit of espresso, but their main feature set is focused on those coarser brew methods. Now that we know what a grinder is, who these are for, let's talk about our picks. Let's tee off with our crowd pleaser pick. Our pick in this category is the Eureka Mignon Filtro. The Mignon lineup has been around for a long time. It's well known and known to be very reliable and long lasting. Not too long ago, Eureka tweaked the design of this model to work better for filter brewing and coarser grinding. They also updated it with a brew specific burr set that works fantastic for these coarser brew methods. The Filtro is a great value for a grinder that's going to give you great grind quality and last a long time. It does sacrifice a couple features like a timer and any sound deadening, but it's not too loud and most of the time for brew grinding, I'm weighing my beans before I grind anyways. This grinder does have 50 millimeter flat burrs and a stepless grind adjustment. If you're someone who changes between brew methods all the time, this might not be the best pick for you. If you stick to the same brew method most days and just change coffees sometimes, this would be a fantastic pick because you could make subtle tweaks to your grind setting depending on how your coffee's tasting from day to day. If you're making a pour over and one day is tasting a little bit sour, you could go a little bit finer on that grind setting to lengthen your brew time and balance out those flavor notes. The top features pick here is the Fellow Ode, and this is the Gen 2, which is an update on the original Fellow Ode. This grinder comes with large, flat burrs and a bevy of features that make it really convenient to use from day to day. The Ode has larger burrs than any other grinder in this category. If you love making a high quality pour over and want the most clarity of flavor you can achieve, the Fellow Ode is a great pick for that. Other features include a magnetic grounds bin that quickly slots into place to help avoid any mess. You also get a sensor on the motor of the grinder that knows when it's ground all the beans that are in the hopper and it'll shut itself off automatically. It's a very low profile grinder and could fit almost anywhere in your home. It also looks great and matches well with the rest of the products in Fellows lineup. If you're a fan of Fellows aesthetics, you're going to love this grinder. Our ultimate pick in this category is the Barazza Encore ESP. It was tough to choose our ultimate pick, but we felt this grinder's versatility really helped it lock down this spot. The Encore ESP is an update on the classic Encore many of us have used for a long time. I know I use the Encore in my early days working in coffee and I still have a few Barazza grinders at home. This grinder builds on the original foundation of the Encore, meaning that it's great for your coarser grinding, for pour over, drip coffee, things like that, but you could also use it for espresso brewing. Maybe if you don't have an espresso machine yet, but you're thinking about one in the future, go for the Encore ESP. It'll work great for what you're doing now and give you flexibility into the future. You also get Bratz's great product support, knowing that they're gonna have parts and support for their grinders far into the future. Last on our list to talk about is our honorable mention, and that's the Scala Zero from Solus. This is a great value pick. If you're on a tight budget, but still wanna grind your own beans, the Scala Zero can do that for you. It works well for coarser brew methods and it does some espresso grinding as well. 
It does have a wide range of stepped settings, so you can adjust your grind setting to be a good fit for any brew method. It also has a little grind timer on the side by way of a dial. It is a little bit small. That means the ground's been as small as well. So if you're doing larger batches for drip coffee, you might wanna look at one of these other picks. I wouldn't expect this to be your lifetime grinder, but if you need something in this price range, it's gonna do a great job and you'll be happy with it. Well, that about wraps up our picks here for coffee grinders. Did we miss one that you'd consider over these? Leave a comment down below on what you would have picked for your top coffee grinder for 2023. If this video opened your eyes to some questions you weren't thinking to ask about your next coffee grinder, make sure to contact our team by chat, phone, or email for personalized recommendations. We've been helping folks like yourself find the right piece of coffee equipment for their needs for a long time, and we'd be happy to help you too. That concludes our discussion on the top three grinders for 2023. If you wanna learn more about each of these products, head to the description of this video and there's links to each product there. You'll also find a link to subscribe to our email newsletter. That newsletter contains helpful info about upcoming sales and promotions. And as a thank you, we'll also send you a coupon for 10% off one item on our site. That coupon does have some exclusions, which is another reason to chat with our sales team about any questions you might have. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting our channel. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you learned something. Have a great rest of your day and keep on making coffee you love.